Googlers. Uh, Google just dropped this amazing... Re well, I don't know that they just dropped it, actually. I don't know how long it's been around, but I just found it. So uh, I just found this amazing resource from Google called uh, the OCI Helper. And OCI is the acronym Google's using for Offline Conversion Imports. And I'm going to give you a little context as to why it's important, and then we'll dive into the helper. Um, Google gives you the ability to, to take information that happens after the conversion and, and uh, import that into Google Ads in order to equip it with more data. And this is uh, exceptionally important. To be honest with you, it's important. I, I mean, I can't think of a campaign where it wouldn't necessarily be important, but lead generation specifically, I think, can really benefit from this because um, Google's you know, effectively treating all, all leads as equal unless you have values assigned, but you know, oftentimes we don't, and, and sometimes you can't. And so the example that I'll offer you that's you know, where we learned a, a lot of this, my partner and I had a real estate investment agency. Um, we had the highest performing real estate investment campaign for seven years. And I really like saying that because, it's, man, that, that industry has teeth. And the fact that we were able to conquer it is something I'm really proud of. And we did that through the use of tools like this. And so to give you numbers, like to go ultra specific, we had um, one real estate investor in, in almost every major MSA in the United States. Um, and so uh, what we found was there were pretty consistent um, conversion ratios. I think our average real estate investor closed one out of 20 leads. So we had to produce 20 leads in order to close one deal. And these were not cheap leads, by the way. But the profitability on the other end, I mean, you could, you, you'd have six figures net profit with some of these deals. Um, I think we did, you know, there were some seven figure deals that came out of like, you know, larger, um, obviously larger uh, uh, pieces of real estate. Anyway, um, if you're only closing one out of 20, some of our investors did better, you know, one out of 15, one out of 10 and like really, really, really hot geographies. Although that was very uncommon and usually tied to like a, more of a cyclical market. But if you're, if you're only closing one out of 15 and one out of 20 right now, Google's treating all of those leads as though they're equal and it's trying to get you all of those same leads. What you can do is you can tell Google which one closed and for how much, uh, which is really cool. And then you import that into Google. It, the, the key there is you have to capture the, the, the G clip, Google's click ID. Um, so when somebody converts, you capture the GCLID, you append it to the contact record in your CRM, you follow that prospect all the way through to fruition, you export all of the closed deals that came specifically from Google Ads, import them into Google Ads, and Google's like, oh, okay, deal still closed, this deal closed, this deal closed, this deal closed, and for these amounts, and now Google's giving something to, you know, the, the tune of like weighted credit, let's say, to each of those leads, and working to identify common denominators in the leads that are actually closing and producing value, so it can bring you more of those. Now, it takes a lot of data to, to begin to work, although I have seen anecdotally a, a smaller amount of data appear to kind of influence um, the campaigns, but all of that said, this has always been of critical importance. It becomes more important now that we're dealing with the loss of data, which is only going to continue as the whole world moves towards a privacy first paradigm. And so while this is always something they should have done, you got to do it now. Like you, you have to do it now. Uh, if you don't, you're going to be at a massive disadvantage. And if you do, incidentally, 80% of the people who are exposed to this information will never do it. Sadly, the 20% that do, it's going to put you so far ahead of your competitors. It's not funny because you're going to have data that that they just don't have. And, and really what I mean is Google's going to have data that they just don't have. So let me show you the tool. We've got Google's OCI helper. Again, I don't know when this dropped, um, but I just found it. So uh, one of the cool things I want to point your attention to is if you click on, and I'll include a link to this in the description of the video, but if you click on platform guide, it brings you to the practitioner guide, which is, I mean, really well done, really well done. And the thing that I liked the most was the stakeholder assignment. So if you go down here, it shows you the people that you need to involve in this process. And you start to see this isn't hard to do from a technical perspective, but it's tedious. And there's a lot of steps and it requires, you know, different stakeholders. And so you need whoever's responsible for, you know, the overarching project, which they're calling the project manager, uh, whoever's running Google ads. In many instances, I actually think these two roles, to be honest with you, are probably going to be bundled. But you need whoever's helping with the web dev and whoever's managing the CRM. And the CRM manager and the salesperson, it's interesting there because I actually think that you need both of those people involved, the CRM manager to help with the technical implementation, and then whoever's updating the, the contacts info, those roles, in my experience, uh, are separate. They're not the same. So, And salespeople are notoriously bad at giving back data. Um, so this is something you're going to have to police. That's a really big fail point in our experience. You know, however many, I forget how many real estate investors we had, but I mean, we're talking hundreds of salespeople and 
God bless America, are they just the most difficult personalities to contend with. They're also insanely valuable, so I guess they have uh, the, the ability to do that. But uh, Google puts you through this kind of questionnaire that assists you with the OCI implementation. Uh, and I just learned the acronym OCI, by the way, so I'm going to keep dropping it because it makes me sound smart. Um, so when you say get started, kind of cool. Um, and and it's, it's very well done in terms of the logic. So have you identified which actions... Uh, you want to import. And if I say yes, it keeps me going. If I say no, it says, well, we need to schedule a call or make the assessment via uh, the lead to sales journey guide. Now, this is so cool. When I click on this guide, this is also amazing. It's so well done. Um, I just think, I just, I'm normally not really impressed with Google's education, to be honest with you, but this feels really rock solid. Like it's really walking you through the process of, you know, determining which of these data points is most important to track and so let's say that you know the answer is yes then it's going to say all right how long is the average conversion lag uh we'll say 90 days or less if it's more you're going to really have to pay attention to the data that you're collecting and probably play the first party cookie game not that you shouldn't be doing that otherwise um uh, for imported conversion actions how many conversions are there on average per month if it's less than 30 i'd anticipate that i think the reason the line of demarcation exists here is because it, it's a little bit you know, this is the line of dilution, let's say. So I'll say it's more than 30, which, by the way, this doesn't mean that you're getting more than 30 leads. Really, it means you're getting more than 30, more than 30 contact conversions that would merit data import, which I think means have closed. Like, I don't know where you would import data if it's not a closed deal. And maybe that's just because I'm a dummy. So if you have if you have an idea there, if there's other information that we should be giving Google past past values, I'd be really interested in hearing that. Um, and you know, it could just be that I don't, I don't know enough, or or you know, whatever. I'm not being creative enough. Um, how are you capturing customer data? We use a CRM. We use a spre spreadsheet. We use a web database. Please, please tell me you don't live here. Go get yourself a CRM. Like now, do that. And I mean, like, there's so many of them out there that are free. HubSpot's free, and it's great. Uh, we use high level. I'm I'm a high level affiliate, incidentally. Um, there's no excuse not to have this. So we're going to say we use a CRM. Uh, Zapier compatible CRMs, which is most. Uh, high level is Zapier compatible. So you can see I'm not going to walk through the whole damn thing because it'll probably be really boring. Um, that's really cool. I love Zapier, by the way. I don't understand why Zapier isn't more expensive. Like Zapier is the key to the internet. We I have whole businesses that just run on the back of Zapier. It's unbelievably uh, 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 valuable, and it's also very inexpensive, all things considered. We have like the unlimited plan. I think I pay like two grand a year or something, and we just have everything on the back of Zapier. It's crazy. Um, wow, assigned stakeholders. So I didn't actually didn't get this far before I started shooting my video. So this is just so cool. So if I want to assign my stakeholders, um, man, that's unbelievable. I'm just so impressed. Anyway, uh, check out the OCI helper. This is where things have to go. Um, you need to get used to the idea that first party data acquisition just became the gold standard for all data acquisition is because we're killing third party cookies. Well, Google is. Other people have tried previously. Um, you know, I think, what is it? Firefox killed third party cookies in like 2019 or whatever. Um, but now that this is actually becoming final, and it's not just about the loss of third party cookies, it's also about, you know, Flock, uh, iOS updates, which aren't going to stop, by the way. Apple and iOS 15 announced that they're not going to give emails any longer. If somebody subscribes, they're going to give the subscriber the option to use a proxy email. So you don't even see your customer's emails. And they're going to mask open and click-through rates. So you're not going to know whether or not people open and, and click through, which doesn't necessarily impact your Google Ads campaign per se, directly, anyway. But that's the new ecosystem that we have to contend with. Um, you know, if somebody does opt into something um, that, you know, on your... On your uh, it within your funnel, you're not going to know who they are or what it is that they're engaging with. So the data that you do capture, you have to put it back. You have to give it back to Google. Facebook has something similar, by the way, Facebook's conversion API, um, which is Facebook's response to the fact that they lost way more data than we were going to lose, hopefully, um, because of the iOS update. So critically important. Um, first party data acquisition just became the gold standard. Uh, I have another video that I plan on shooting on that topic. It'll it'll be long. It'll be like maybe an hour. 
I did a presentation for a group of masterminds, and I'm just going to take that same presentation and truncate it a little bit and then offer it up for our YouTube subscribers. But um, just know that, that this is coming, and you're going to hear me harping on it, because if you're not doing it, you are throwing money away. Um, these used to be easy skip, steps to skip. We've been spoiled. And uh, we're now going to have to start doing the work. And the people that don't do the work are going to be penalized. Penalized potentially to the point of not being able to afford to advertise. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not being dramatic. I'm letting you know what's, what's coming down. Um, I feel like I'm talking too much now. So I'll end it here. I shoot a video every day. So if you want to see me every day, then subscribe. Um, and I appreciate you all subscribing, by the way, because it's the, the single most important key performance indicator to YouTube that we're actually like legitimate and worth listening to so um thank you to our subscribers uh comments if you have input realize that i know you know maybe one percent more than you know really because this is all brand new here so if you have uh I, I i learn as much as i teach from this channel um i remember one video was so freaking embarrassing i shot a video where I started telling people that I thought first party cookies were going away because of something that I read in a forum and somebody corrected me on that uh, very politely. God bless them. But, you know, I was almost tempted to take it down because it made me look so stupid, but I realized there's integrity to leaving stuff like that up. So for those of you that have offered me, you know, tips, tricks, advice, input, um, uh, Bohan, if you're watching this, um, easily, you know, one of the, the, the coolest dudes I've met out of YouTube and and consistently, I mean, he's way smarter than I am. I've told him a lot of times he needs to have his own channel. So anyway, that's my moment of humility. Uh, thank you to all of you that have been influencing what it is that I know and, you know, asking the, the questions that sort of sharpen our saw and make us better. You're awesome. I appreciate you. Uh, love you. Hope that um, y'all are being wildly successful in your business. And I've said th goodbye three times now. So I'm just going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching.